welcome in Slump Busters. This is your boy Kyle, and we are back with another YouTube exclusive. So, Javi Baez is signing with the Detroit Tigers. Interesting because Javi Baez cashing in at the first time at hitting free agency is obviously something that we were prepared for all offseason. He had been connected to the Texas Rangers before they dropped $600 million on their middle infield. And he had been connected back with the Mets for a little bit, but the Mets seemed to lowball him. And that situation seemed like it wasn't going very well at the end. So Javi Baez will pick up his things and head to the Motor City. The Detroit Tigers are in this weird place because they've spent like five years being bad now, like really, really bad. Like they've had multiple number one picks now, one being Spencer Torkelson, the other Casey Mize. They've tried to build up the farm system and they haven't really seen like a ton of huge victories in terms of player development that has turned into a recognizable name. Like Daz Cameron is pretty good, but the, the Tigers haven't really done that much in terms of developing young prospects. And so Detroit has decided that at this stage of their rebuild, right before the lockout kicks in today, they've decided that they're going to try and spend a little bit to try and like supplement their roster. And they spent $75 million on Eduardo Rodriguez. They went out and spent another $150 million, I believe was the number for Javi Baez on that contract. And so they, they supplement those pieces with players who are fine additions. I don't think there's any two players in baseball who can turn the Tigers overnight from a team that loses 90 games to a team that can make the playoffs. I think it'll come with development of some of the players that were already there or adding more pieces to the team. But the Tigers are at least making moves. And in AL Central, that is really, really bad. It might just be good enough for the Tigers to get closer to being back to a division contender. Because outside of that four-year stretch back in the 2010s, Tigers have made the playoffs just one other time in 2006 over the last 25 years. So the Tigers have gone long stretches with being really bad at baseball. They've been run poorly across many generations. In the past five years, they've been run quite poorly, even if it looks like they have a plan. They've just been absolutely terrible. And the fact that they don't have anything to show for it doesn't really give me hope that this will be a franchise turner for them, but at least having Javi Baez for the next five years will be fun. It's a name we know on the Tigers now other than Miguel Cabrera. So at least the Tigers might have something to play for now. Make sure to check out the Slump Buster podcast dropping this week. Make sure to check out our other free agency reaction videos and support our partners over at the Caveman Coffee Company. Use that promo code SLUMP for a 15% discount on your initial purchase.